The dangerous heat continues and firefighters in our state have already been called out to a record number of grass fire calls. News 9's Felice Romero spoke to several agencies. She joins us live at OKC Station 1 with the thread that binds them all. Felice? Every department I spoke to today says they've been responding to a record number of grass fires, but it's the volunteer departments that say their trucks that often come used are taking the brunt of the heat. Just the smallest spark could create a grass fire that then turns into a one mile or larger grass fire. As drought conditions continue in our state, local fire departments have their hands full responding to grass fires. We actually pulled data going back to 2010 and not a single July in that time frame approached the 324 mark that we just saw. As of July 20th, Oklahoma was ranked fourth in the nation for uh, wildland fires. Give an example, July 4th, on its own, we responded to 18 total grass fires that day. The Oklahoma City Fire Department says thankfully their new equipment can take the heat. But that isn't the story for smaller volunteer departments. There's two different fire departments in the southwest part of the state that have lost their brush trucks to fire. And um, the minimum cost to replace one of those is around $125,000. We're very fortunate that we have a good funding base with our department, but even with that, it's a constant battle to keep everything on the road and operational. So just burn spots in our hoses like that. The extra repairs adding up as we head into another hot month. All of the rubber bushings, the grease and the bearings, it all just gets so hot it, become, it begins to deteriorate. We're not out of the woods just because we received a little bit of rain recently. Fire officials say grass fire calls ramp up in the afternoon. They're asking anyone that spends time outside to take extra precautions. Reporting live in downtown Oklahoma City, Feliz Romero, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.